hey guys welcome back to another video and today we'll be discussing about the first search so in the past video we talked about the simulation but now we are gonna discuss about two topics so the first one is understanding these edges so uh, so there are multiple edges in this example right so we have to understand which edge represents what so there are four that we have to keep in mind so the first one is the tree edge where uh, with this edge we are actually finding new nodes so and the second one is the ancestor to descendant edge so you're going from like uh, let's say one is the parent of three so you're going from one to three so that would be a forward edge and uh, so B is the backward edge so if you're going from the child to the parent that would be a backward edge and finally if all of these are not that edge so then it would be the cross edge so let's look at this example and try to understand what's happening here so here we have so let's say we start from one so this is like our starting so from one we go to two so that is like we are finding a new sorry so we are finding a new uh, node right so this would be a tree edge so from two we are going to three so we are also finding a new edge so that's why it's a tree edge from three we are going back to one right so three is like the child of one because we are traversing from here to here and going back to the parent that's why uh, three is the from three three is the child and from three we are going back to its parents so this would be a backward edge okay so this whole thing creates a cycle so this is considered uh, another like a strongly connected component but we will be going to that later on in some other video but uh let's move on on this one so from so we go back and from two we have another edge so this is what we are discovering so this is t so from four we can't go anywhere else so we go back let's say from three to five we are discovering another node right so this would be a tree edge and from five to two so let's consider the uh, cross edges later on uh, and go through the rest of them first so from 5 to 6 we're discovering a new node so that's why it's t from 6 to 7 same case we're discovering a new node that's why it's t so we would be left with like this node and this node so all of them they don't fall in any case right 5 is not uh, the child of 2 so we can't put backward uh, backward edge here and similarly 5 is not the child of 4 so we can't put backward edge here so all of them see these two would be considered as cross edge okay so we are all done with this and finally from the whole graph you have to uh, make this like this is a flow of how these nodes are connected to one another so from one we have two so this is the forward edge so from two we have three so this is also a forward edge from three we go back to one so this is a backward edge and from three we can go to five so this is a three edge so uh, th these wouldn't be f this would be t so my bad here anyway so from 5 to 2 that would be a cross edge from 5 to 4 that also would be a cross edge because it's not the child from 5 to 6 we have a tree edge and from 6 to 7 we also have a tree edge so this is like the main representation of uh, this whole graph but in like a more easier pattern 